Now, English is not my primary language, but I'll do my best to communicate with English to our foreign viewers. Now, in this live stream, we are going to discuss how do you manage the addiction for masturbation. Now, there are plenty of men who cannot control their masturbating activities. Now, in this live stream, I'm going to share a handful of steps that I have used personally. And in the end, I have overcome this challenge. Now, a person must understand that masturbation doesn't help them in the first place because the outcome of masturbation is when you talk to a chick, you're gonna be afraid. You stutter or maybe you cannot even approach a woman in the first place. Okay, this is one of the many byproducts of you being addicted to pornography or masturbation. When you are addicted to pornography, you are depriving yourself of your masculinity. What you do instead is this, okay? You transfer your masturbation energy into something more productive. In my case, it was building a business. In my case, it was building a firm, okay? So I have transferred that energy, that masturbation energy into something more productive. This was also written in the book of uh, Napoleon Hill. If you have read the book, uh, Think and Grow Rich. Okay. So when you have the urge, okay, let's say it's the middle of the night. You have this little ennui. Okay. And you cannot fall asleep. Okay. What do you do? You read books. Okay, some of you don't believe in books, you know, don't read books. You could listen to audiobooks. Okay, watch some coaching videos on social media until you fall asleep. Okay, if you don't prefer reading books, use that energy into something more productive. Because if you are watching porn all day, do you think that you are going to be progressing as a guy? No. Oh, by the way, this video is for non Christian and Christian men. Okay, I'm going to be sharing my experiences with overcoming masturbation i used to masturbate a lot ever since high school okay the byproduct of the of uh, masturbating all day long is i cannot communicate properly to a chick because in my mind why do i need to approach a woman why do i need to talk to a chick and risk getting rejected if i could just go to my house close the door lock them and masturbate all day long because if Women want attention from us men. Us men, we want sex from women. So what we're trying to do here is, oh, we just masturbate all day. We don't need, we don't need to talk to women anymore. I could just go to porn. It's easy. It's a cheap dopamine pursuit. You're depriving yourself long term. And a lot of men would disagree with what I'm saying right now. A lot of men would uh, contradict what I'm saying. I'm not going to listen to this guy. Okay, yeah, it's full of crap. That's what they're gonna do until the time comes when you mature enough, you would realize that you have wasted more than 10 years or 15 years of your life watching a ton of porn. You could have avoided that scenario in the first place. You could have used those times to produce something more, i.e. building a business. Hmm. And there are still Christian men who are joining churches and still cannot stop their addiction to pornography. And so that's why when they go to their churches, they cannot, you know, communicate properly to women. They think that being friends with women is what's gonna get it's what's gonna get them a girlfriend. That's not what that's not how women work. We you know in the early days, okay, if you really like a chick. All you have to do is approach her, talk to her, introduce yourself. Hey, my name is Philip Rendado, and I want you to know that I am interested in you. You don't have to say it back, but I just want you to know that I like you and I find you very pretty. Okay, and risk getting rejected or publicly humiliated. But with the rise of social media, what do you guys do? You just say hi on the Messenger, Viber, WhatsApp, Facebook, Twitter, IG. Everything's on social media. It's less difficult now. And by the way, you think that uh, messaging a chick all day is what's gonna get you laid? Is, uh, do, you, do you think you're gonna get a girlfriend from that one? No, unless unless you have an awesome lifestyle. Unless your uh, social media is left. 
unless you're Facebook or Instagram, or you're posting wonderful photos and adventures in there, well, then why not? Hmm. But then again, not all guys are like this. So that's why I'm telling you right now, okay? In order for you to achieve something greater, you need to do things that you cannot do in the first place or you don't want to do in the first place. Let's say you want to masturbate. Of course, you are addicted to masturbation. Of course, everybody, every single guy came sa ganyang klaseng scenario in the first place. They think that masturbating all day is uh, wala namang side effects. Kasi pag nagpunta ka sa, when you go to Google right now, when you go to other YouTube channels right now, they would say, benefits of masturbation. They would say those things. Ah, it, it, it relieves stress. It relieves pressure in your scrotum, blah, blah, blah. All of the physical traits. But little did they know, they're screwing up the heads of the men. It's a cheap dopamine trick. They think that, oh yeah, since I just want sex from women, I'll just go to um, pornography. I don't have to talk to women anymore. Oh yes, I don't have to risk getting humiliated or rejected anymore. So when you grow older into an adult, you don't want to take risk. It's gonna manifest in your actions when you grow older into an adult. That's what's going to happen when you are depriving yourself long term. This is what's gonna happen. And plenty of guys might attack me right now. Or maybe, you know, have a clip of this uh, live stream. And then, oh, Philip is wrong, Philip is wrong. Again, we live in a screwed up society. Okay? This is what's happening right now. Okay? Men must understand that uh, masturbation, masturbation doesn't produce any outcome. Well, short-term outcome, yes. Long-term, no. You don't know how to communicate properly to a woman. Because in the first place, you cannot even talk to a woman. Riddle me that one. And by the way, if you can conquer your body, you can conquer the world. Okay? You can conquer your urges. Okay? If you can conquer your urges... You can conquer the mind. If you can conquer the mind, you can conquer the body. If you can conquer the body, you can conquer the world. Okay? And every single man watching this video right now, if you are a real guy, okay? Well, every one of us wants to conquer the world to a degree. Okay? Or maybe if you, you know, there's, you don't want to read books, you don't want to, uh, let's just say, watch some coaching videos, you could go to the gym. You know, lift some weights, engage in strength training, and strength training, all of the emotions or the urges, okay? You transpose, you transfer those energy into something more productive. Building a business, going to the gym, strength training, resistance training, cardio. Okay? Same thing with depression, okay? Now, now I know depression is a different topic, but depression is, to a degree, a kind of emotion, Okay, instead of you submitting to your emotions and urges, you use those things once you feel, let's say, ennui or lust or depression, you use those emotions or urges and create something new. You go to the gym. You know, the gym has, uh, has been proven that uh, it relieves, it removes depression long term. Some people would claim that, uh, oh, I'm not, I'm not going to go to the gym. Why? Because I'm depressed. No. It's the other way around. You're not going to the gym. So, ang outcome, the outcome is you're depressed. Okay? If you work hard, eat clean, hmm, you're gonna get rewarded for that one. Most people, they, okay, is there an easy way? Is there an easy way to be happy? Is there an easy way to be satisfied? They're thinking, Whoa, why easy way? Why cannot be, why can't it be the hard way? Bakit ayaw niyo paghirapan? Why can't you work hard on it? You know, when you are dating a chick, okay, when you're dating a woman, for example, and she's easy to get, if you are a guy who never got laid in the first place, you would say, oh yeah, this is a jackpot, this is a bingo. Ganun eh, di ba? Oh, they think it's okay eh. Pero ang pangit doon is, again, easy to get nga eh. You cannot appreciate something na easy. 
You cannot appreciate something that is easy. With women, with money, with circumstances, you cannot appreciate it long term. And by the way, overcoming all of this, depression, masturbation, it's not gonna be easy. There will be relapses. There will be times you're gonna fail as a guy. There will be times that uh, you will go back to your old uh, approaches. However, okay, when that happens, you have to keep on carrying on. Okay, you have to keep on improving still. You have to, oh, let's just say you did relapse. Okay? Balik ka. Okay? Keep on carrying on. Tuloy ka pa rin. Okay? Uh, you're, you're just gonna have to start all you're, you're just gonna have to start uh, all over again. Hmm. So then again, uh, most people, they don't educate uh, people hard enough with these kinds of topics because they think, na, oh yeah, uh, masturbation is good, it has benefits, blah, 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 blah. Okay, if we're, we're gonna go full biblical, okay, the Bible st uh, stated that uh, never conform by the patterns of this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. You, not, you, you need to renew your mind. But then again, we live in a uh, gynocentric society, gynocentric society, and, uh, mate, they're gonna preach something different. Leftist or uh, feminized approach. That's what they're gonna do. They're gonna go, you know, against this. One way or another. Okay? And so far, all of my claims on my Manhood Tycoon YouTube channel, so far, so far, so far, I'm not yet wrong. So far. Okay? Let's see in the future, okay? So then again, if you wanna stop masturbation, transfer that energy into something more productive. Go to the gym, work out, eat clean, endurance training, resistance training, or listen to audiobooks or read books. Or build a business out of nowhere. Okay? The idea here is you transfer that energy into something more fruitful, something more productive. Okay? It's gonna cost you time. It's not gonna be easy. Okay, it's not gonna be easy. It's gonna be a ton of difficulty. Okay, and I can promise you that one. However, when I did overcome my masturbation, because I realized that, uh, hey, masturbation doesn't serve me very well. It doesn't benefit me long term. It screws up my game with women and my performance in the bedroom and my performance with life. Okay, so then again, Okay, if you understand that it doesn't benefit you at all, you would realize, you know what, Philip is right, I should stop masturbation. Number one, it's not biblical. Number two, it deprives me of my masculinity in the long run. It will take you time, but you're gonna get there as long as you don't stop. Okay, you, the only time, okay, the only time that you fail is when you stop improving. Okay, so hope you guys learned something new, be happy, be healthy, and most importantly, to God be all the glory, keep safe, ingat kayong lahat, take care.